Hello and welcome to Real English with Real Teachers with your hosts, Harry Giles, that's me, and, and uh, myself, Charlie Baxter, that's me. Hi Charlie, uh, how are you doing? I'm well, yeah, I'm doing well. How are you? Good, yeah, I see it's half one in Germany. <laughs> You're right, yeah. Half 12 for you in England. Crazy, yeah. crazy world we live in. This video, uh, we're teaching you some vocabulary, uh, some common phrases to use when you go to a restaurant. Uh, with the reason we're making this video is because of one of uh, the comments we received from our subscriber, Abby Ma, or Abby. Hi, Abby. Hello, Abby. We hope that you enjoy this video. Yeah, hope you enjoy it. So, if anyone else wants us to make uh, videos about specific things that you find difficult in English, write them in the comments below and we can help you. So, the first thing, booking a table. When I go to my favourite restaurant in Bedford, a Portuguese restaurant, I do call up because they're very busy. So you need to book ahead. Okay. Book ahead. What does that mean to book ahead? It means to phone before the time that you want to actually eat. Hmm. Yeah. Booking ahead of time. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking to book a table uh, for four people tomorrow night. Is that possible? What kind of time were you were you looking for? Ideally, we'd like to be sitting down at 8.15. I was wondering if I could reserve a table for this evening. Unfortunately, we're absolutely fully booked tonight, sir. Oh, that's a, that's a pity. Do you have any tables available uh, between two and three? Let me just consult the books. Um, okay, yeah, we can give you a time at uh, half past one. Half past one. Yeah, could I could I take that, please? Uh, half past one. That'd be great. Of course. Yes. Um, any um, any vegetarians in the in the booking? Oh yes, I am a vegetarian. Yes, and uh, my lady, she is she loves meat. <laughs> <laughs> so one thirty. What uh, is the name that we want to book? Uh, that will be uh, Harry. My name is Harry. Harry. And last name. Giles. We'll look forward to serving you at 1.30 tomorrow. Great. All right. Thanks for your help. No worries. Goodbye. Uh, so now we have booked the table and Charlie is going to be coming to the restaurant um, to sit down with his four friends. I don't think he has four friends, but we'll in my, see. In my imaginary world, I can have four friends. Thank you very much, Harry. Okay. Good evening, sir. How are you? Very well, thank you. Yes. Did you have a reservation, sir? We do, yes, under the name uh, Charlie. Okay, Charlie, fantastic. Well, if you will just follow me. Um, can I take your jacket for you? Oh, yeah, lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, please sit down. Um, can I get you some drinks? Yeah, that would be lovely. Um, what do you recommend? What, what do you Would you like um, a soft drink? We have lemonades, we have <laughs> orange juice. Uh, well, we also have uh, lots of nice beers. We have some craft beers, uh, which are brewed here in, in uh, the restaurant. We also have some nice wine, some Italian wine, some Spanish wine, some Chilean wine. Um, and we have uh, lots of spirits. We can make cocktails. What would you like, sir? Uh, well, darling, what, what would you like? Oh, I'd love a bit of Pinot Grigio. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you with your grandmother? I'd like your, uh, your craft beer, please. I think, uh, I think the ladies want to have a, a bottle of Merlot shared between the table for now. Uh, would you like four glasses? Uh, why not? Why not? Why not? Okay, why not?
<laughs> All right, cool. Uh, and are you ready to order your dinner? Are you ready to, uh, have you had a look at the menu yet? Yes, we were wondering about a couple of things. Um, how spicy is the, uh, the Mexican dish? Uh, it's rather spicy, uh, but we are at the, I can tell the chef if you want it uh, less spicy. Are there any, are there any allergies? Yes, my uh, partner actually, she has a, a minor nut allergy. Don't get the duck pate because there are traces of nuts in it. So what would you like? What will you be having uh, this evening, sir? I would like to have the enchiladas. You're going, you're going to go for the en enchiladas? Yes. I think that's quite a nice phrase, I'll go for. Yes, yeah, yeah, I'll go for the enchiladas. And I think uh, everyone else, apart from me getting the enchiladas, uh, they'll be getting a carvery. Right, so now we've ordered the food, we are going to suggest some of the ways that Harry and I would ask for the waiter if you need anything extra from the food coming. Ah, oh, excuse me, mate. Excuse me, mate. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Would you use sir? What situation would you use sir versus mate? Uh, maybe if it was a um, quite a posh restaurant uh, with very high standards, high quality, maybe. Excuse me, sir. Uh, sorry, mate. S sorry, could I? Do you mind if I uh, ask you for some salt? Hmm. Yeah, so d do you mind is a really nice way to make little polite requests. Do you mind if I have some salt? Oh, do you mind if I have some mayonnaise? Do you mind bringing us some tap water? Excuse me, um, where are the bathrooms? American and uh, a British, excuse me, where, where's the toilet? Or if you're very posh, you could say, where is the lavatory? Where would one spend a penny? <laughs> yeah, where would one take a shit? Sorry to say this, but we've actually been waiting a rather long time for our food. Is it coming? Is our food on its way? Or is mm. our food on the way? Mm. Yeah. Excuse me, um, could we warm it up a bit? It's not hot enough. Because I said in some countries, like in Spain, you often get your food and it's not hot and it's not a problem for them. But in England, if your food is not hot, it is a problem. Mm, yeah, British people like their food piping hot. Piping hot, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Piping being very, right? Yeah. I, I think I ordered some chips with this dish. Ah. Yeah, so if they, if they miss something, if they forget something, you can yeah. remind them. I, uh, I seem to be missing uh, the side veg that uh, I ordered. Can I bring you any desserts? Oh, I don't know, I'm awfully stuffed. Um, but I do know that the, the ladies that I'm with support a, a sweet tooth. Was everything to your liking, sir? Yes, it was exquisite. Minus the, uh, the forgetting of the veg, the corn on the cob, the chips, and it wasn't very warm. Uh, yes, it was, it was a good meal. Um, can, I, uh, can I get the bill, please? Oh, you can just do this, can't you? Yeah, and you've always got to have your mouth open. <laughs> yeah, you're going to look like a fish. Cash or card? Uh, we'll pay by cash. Uh, do you take card? Do you take card? Yeah, we do take card. Is the service charge included in this bill? Uh, yeah, there is a 5% uh, service charge and then you can add any extra money you want as a tip. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Uh, thank you for, for coming. I hope you enjoyed your food. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was delightful. We all enjoyed. Right. That's it. I hope that you uh, got something from that video. Remember to uh, subscribe, as Harry does. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you like it.
Give us a little yeah. thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up and write your comments and we'll make a video for you. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. All right, any last words, Harry? No, just, um, just uh, stay active and uh, keep on uh, studying. Keep on studying, stay in school. Remember, you can find me and Charlie's links below um, to um, Charlie's website and uh, to my profile on Verbling. Nice one. All right. Bye for now, everybody. Stay active. Stay Bye for now. Bye-bye.